Hi Notion is. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up an Apple shortcut so that you can mark your habits as complete in a Notion database from your Mac or your iOS device with just a couple of taps. Obviously one of the downsides of having a habit tracker in Notion at the moment is having to create new pages for each new date that you want to record your habits for. So this shortcut is going to check to see whether or not there's already a page in your Notion database for today's date. And then if there isn't, it's going to create one for you and tick off your habit that you've said you've completed. If there is, then it will tick off that habit for you without creating a brand new page. And this is pretty simple to set up. I'm not going to explain how it's configured fully because it's a fairly complicated shortcut but basically all you need to do is go to this page which I've linked to in the description. First you want to set up your internal integration token which just allows you to connect to the pages in your Notion workspace via the Notion API and you can click through and see how to go through that process uh, from this link here. And then once you've done that and you've shared your Notion page that contains the Habit Tracker database with your connection uh, or your internal integration from the Add Connections menu here. Uh, so it should look something like this. To copy the shortcut itself, you can just click on this link right here. And that's going to open a page in your browser. So if you click the Get Shortcut button here, the first thing you're going to see is when you click Add Shortcut, is uh, these two sets of setup questions. So you just need to edit this list of habits and replace it with whichever habits you're gonna be completing. You need to have properties in your Notion database with the same labels as their names. So make sure that they match up, including the uh, case of the habits. And then you also want to enter the details about your copy of the template or your database. So you need the database ID for your database. And if we go back to our database here, we can get that by clicking the six dots here. Uh, if I paste the link into here, we just want the ID that's in between the question mark there and the name of our workspace. So I can copy that there. And then I just want to paste that into the value column there. You need your internal integration token, which you would enter here. And then if you've renamed your title or your date property at all uh, to something different, then just replace name and date with something else right there. Then you can click Add Shortcut. If we go into here, we'll see those details that I've entered have fed into uh, this dictionary entry here. And obviously if I'd changed any of the list here, then that would have fed into my shortcut as well. The other thing you're gonna to want to do if you're gonna be using this on your Mac is uh, you're gonna to want to make sure that pin in menu bar uh, is checked right there. So you would just switch over to the eye icon there and choose pin in menu bar. And then if we go back to our Notion page right here, and I'll just delete this content now, we can see here today's date is the 15th of October and we don't have an entry at the moment for today's date. But if we go to the shortcuts icon in our menu bar and run the shortcut there, we can choose the habit that we've completed today so far. And when we run that, that's going to create an entry for us for today's date and obviously tick off the exercise tick box. Then if we complete another habit, uh, we can run the shortcut again, choose a different habit there. And that's just going to update that habit entry for us in our habits database. So that's literally all there is to using this shortcut. I hope that was helpful and I hope it saves you a little bit of time and makes recording your habits a little bit more enjoyable. Just let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll see you back here soon for more automation and Notion tips.